Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, tricksters. Let's make something. You like gluing and sticking. <laughs> Me too. This one on top. And that's us. We've got a beautiful flower. Now, do you know why we're making paper flowers? Because Hope's mummy, Emma, is in hospital today and she's going to have a baby. And we're going to wear these to celebrate the new baby. <laughs> now, someone's missing from home today. Ah, uh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Yes, it's Samson and Dr Juno. Hello there. You know, hello and Samson, come on boy, good boy, come on, come and see Granny, clever boy, that's the way, come and say hello to Samson, oh Samson, look he's come to say hello, <laughs> gentle now, look he's enjoying that, <laughs> oh here I think that's enough patting isn't it, into your basket Samson, good boy, Oh, he'll get a good view from there. Well, we dress Claude up as if he was going to the shops, eh? <laughs> oh, what's Claude going shopping for? He's going shopping for a baby present. Mm -hmm. He's going to put all the things in his basket that he thinks a new baby might like. Oh, how exciting, Granny Murray. Tell me more. Oh, quick, over here, before we get popped in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Hope's mum, Emma's having a baby. Brilliant. Is she at the hospital now? Yes, she's at the hospital just now. Her husband Bruce is there looking after her. Oh, the baby's due any minute now. Well, if you like, I can call into the maternity ward and see how she's getting on. Then I can let you know. Oh, that would be great. A new baby's such a wonderful thing. The children must be so excited. Oh, they are. We'll be making these paper flowers. Now, the idea is that everyone who wants to celebrate the new arrival of the wee baby boy or girl gets to be at one of these lovely flowers. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, <laughs> they are, aren't they? Oh, here, you take one. Go on and help all the children to celebrate. Oh, thank you. Smashing. <laughs> oh, don't hide it away in there. Oh, well, you can put it on when you get to work. Don't be shy. Show it. You're right. I'll show it off at work. Granny Murray? Hey, check out Claude. Ooh, he's definitely been shopping. What you buy, Claude? Oh, cuddly toys for the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Claude. Well done, everyone. Oh, see you later, Samson. Come on, then. Now remember, don't be shy. Show it. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, Dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way So fine, so enjoy my cycling time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way. To work today, looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work. Which 
way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my wet clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. I'll pop that there just to remind me to go and see Emma in maternity. Morning, Dr. Juno. Uh, we're fairly quiet this morning, so I thought we could use the time to... That's nice. Did you make that yourself? Well, Granny Murray gave it to me. It's to celebrate the arrival of a new baby. Oh, what a fun idea. Isn't it? Hiya, Bobby. Come in. Celebrating the arrival of a new baby? Uh, yes. I've just been to see Granny Murray and... Oh, you've got one too. Red, green and yellow. My favourite colours. Me too. Touché. So, is there any news about the baby? Oh, not yet. I'm just on my way to see about to be mum, Emma, right now. Look, I made her a present. <laughs> wow, they're so lovely. Oh. <laughs> well, why don't you pop up to maternity to see Emma and Bruce while I get on with the filing? And then you could come down later and we'll chat about it. OK, I'll see you in a bit, Dr right. J. Bye. Bye. <sighs> I wonder how my little one's getting on. I love to skip in Riversy Dingle, Riversy Dingle, by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Dingle, Riversy Dingle, that's for me. Come on, Samson, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> He's a great boy, our Samson, isn't he, darling? Hello, Raymond. Hi, Granny Murray and Samson too. Uh -huh. How are you all? Oh, we're just ship shape, aren't we? <laughs> oh, here, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? Oh, could you look after Samson for just two minutes while I nip into this shop? Well, there's nothing I'd rather do than spend a couple of minutes with my old pal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll only be a second. Come on, boys. Me, 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 boys, me. will you come and help Granny Murray pick something for the new baby? Oh, wow, good boy. That's lovely, but do you think that would fit? No! You're right, too big. Well, let's look for something that's a bit smaller, will we? Maybe I for a boy or small. a girl? Oh, thank you, Raymond. Oh. <laughs> Has he been a good boy? You betcha, he's been a very good boy. <gasps> well done, Samson. Dr. Juno will be so proud. Oh, come in, Bobby. Hiya. How's the mum to be? Oh, is she a new mum already? No, no, not yet. The baby is still in her tummy, but she's doing really well. But I gave her my booties. She was well chuffed. I'm sure there's something different about you. And I saw Bruce. Your flower. You took off your flower. And I gave my flower to him. You gave your flower to Bruce? Yeah, well, he didn't have one to celebrate, so I thought it was only fair that I should give him mine. Oh, and we had a matching pair as well. <laughs> oh, thanks for the update, Bobby. This might be urgent. OK, well, I'd best be off. I'll see you later. See ya. Well, I'd better get back to work. It's so exciting in the hospital It's where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there To see all is fine I'll be there 
Oh, so much for a quiet morning. Oh, I thought I saw you down here. I was just about to take a break, Raymond. What can I do for you? Well, I've just been in to see Bruce and Emma. Has and she had the baby yet? No, not yet. Mm. You see, I had made a present for the new baby. It's a lovely mobile to hang above his or her cot. And I was showing it to Bruce when... Oh. <laughs> you got all tied up. You could say that, yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have you out in a jiffy. Oh, that would be great. I've got to get to work. And Bruce has gone out shopping. Shopping? Well, I hope he hasn't strayed too far. He needs to be here when the baby arrives. That's the thing with babies, isn't it? You never know just when they're going to arrive. There we go. <sighs> wow, it's really good. Thanks. Do you mind hanging on to it for me? You can give it to Bruce and Emma later. No problem. I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Cheers. Bye now. Bye-bye. So Bruce has gone to the shops, eh? Well, Granny Murray says she was taking Samson to the shops too. Oh, hello! What a lovely wee face! Oh, but he was a beautiful puppy! <laughs> oh, but you were gorgeous too, Samson! Yes! Yes, you were! <laughs> Just think, Samson, you were a little tiny puppy once. Oh, you were so sweet. I wonder how Emma's getting on. I'd better ring the maternity ward. Where's Bruce? I don't know. I don't know what he looks like. Well, he's gone missing. The baby's arriving. It's due any minute. Oh, no. There's a baby due any minute and its dad's gone missing. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I called him at Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. Granny Murray and the children were making paper flowers to celebrate the arrival of a new baby. The idea was that everyone could show their excitement about the new baby by wearing a paper flower. Granny Murray gave me a flower in my three favourite colours. I went to work at the hospital. At 8 o'clock, Bobby arrived. She was wearing a flower just like mine. Red, green and yellow. She brought a present for the new baby. At 10 o'clock, I saw Bobby again. She'd taken off a flower. She told me that she had given the flower to Bruce, the new father-to-be. At two o'clock, Raymond stopped by. He'd made a mobile for the new baby. But he'd got himself into a bit of a muddle. Raymond told me that Bruce, the dad, had gone to do a bit of shopping, so that's where he is. Then, Nurse Hendry rushed in to tell me that the baby was about to be born. But the father of the baby was nowhere to be found. And I haven't a clue what Bruce looks like. Now remember, don't be shy. Show it. Of course. There is another way for me to recognise him. Don't be shy. Show it. Bobby gave her flower to Bruce, which looks just like mine. So I have to spot a flower, which has got red, green and yellow, just like this one. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job all time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. That's a lovely baby boy. That's us for Darren's Bobby. How's Emma? Oh, mother and baby are both doing fine. And Daddy's there too, thanks to Dr Juno. Is it a boy and a girl? <laughs> well, um, why don't you go and find out? Um, is Samson outside? Oh, yes. OK, well, I'll go and keep him company and I'll see you later. Brilliant. Okay. Come on then, my darling. Bye. Let's go and see the baby. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bobby. Oh, will you look at him? Isn't he just gorgeous? Oh, Samson. Let's see if we can get home before Dr. Juno. <laughs> Good boy. Oh. 
Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. <gasps> and thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Don't be shy, show it off. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hopping, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed to go shopping to buy a present for a new baby which was about to be born. Dr Juno came by to drop off Samson. I gave her a flower to celebrate the arrival of the new baby and told her to show it off with pride. We took Samson to the shops, we bought a present for the baby, then we went to the hospital. Emma had given birth to a healthy wee boy. I loved seeing the new baby. It was a very special day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's get busy. Let's get all this breakfast stuff cleared up. Do you get me that tray? Well done, Rachel. You're lovely, aren't you? Thanks, Angel. Oh, and can you pour all the juice into the one cup? Thank you, sweet cheeks. <laughs> that's it. And that's us all tidied up. Well, we've got Gary. And we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? It's Samson and Dr Juno. Hello there! <laughs> Dr Juno! Oh, and my Samson! Oh, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. But listen, why don't you two dress up Claude? To your basket, Samson. Oh, good boy. Oh, well, we've just had some breakfast. Would Samson like some? Well, Samson's already had his breakfast at home, Granny Murray. Oh, well, Samson, no breakfast for you. You'll just have to wait for snack time like the rest of us. Oh, do you know what we could have done with this morning? A breakfast waiter. <laughs> oh, why don't you dress Claude up as a breakfast waiter? <laughs> well, meanwhile, why don't we wait over there? Good idea. <laughs> oh, you know, talking of waiters reminds me of dear Mr Donaldson. He was a waiter when I worked in Nicholson's department store. He worked in the restaurant. <laughs> you could get a very good breakfast there, Dr Juno. You know... I advise all my patients to eat breakfast. I really do think it's the most important meal of the day. Oh, I agree. I hope you've had your breakfast. Oh, well, actually, what with getting Samson his breakfast and getting ready for work, I haven't had a chance to eat anything just yet. You should take your own advice. <laughs> now, you sit there and I'll get you some nice tea and toast. <laughs> well, that's very kind <laughs> of no, you. No, no, no. It'll just take a minute. Here we are, here. There. It's not quite up to Nicholson's standard. But it's yummy all the steam. Oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> oh. No breakfast for me just yet. Oh, it's a message from Nurse Hendry. I'm needed at work right away. Well, maybe you could eat these on the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, great service, Claude. <laughs> well done, my darlings. Claude looks every inch the waiter. <laughs> Bye, Samson. Be a good boy for Granny Murray. <laughs> Come on. Just remember, 
You should take your own advice. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry. How can I get to work quickly? Thank you. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the tramway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points. Whining, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaker, 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 slows us down. Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street. That squeaky, squeaky to a stop. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speed to work. I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. All scrubbed and ready to go. Oh, I'm not going to have time for this toast, I'm afraid. Morning, Dr Juno. Did you get my messages about...? Updating the patient's files. Yes, thank you, Miss Hendry. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, looks like I'm going to be very busy today. Boo! Boo-hoo! No need to cry. It's only a joke. <laughs> Rudy, I might have known it was you. What are you doing here? I'm just delivering this fruit basket to Annie Holdsworth, a regular customer of mine. Would you like a grape? Annie wouldn't mind. Thanks, but I've got no time to eat anything at the moment. How about a joke, then? Why did the banana go to the doctor's? I don't know. Why did the banana go to the doctor's? Because it wasn't peeling very well. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't mind, Rudy, I need to get back to work. No worries, Doc. I'm grateful for your time. I get it. Bye. Bye. I wonder if Samson's having a busy day today. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. And Gary. Right, come on, my darlings. It's time for your snack. Everybody come over. Samson, come on. Hi, my darlings. Let's wipe our hands. That's this stuff, because we've been touching lots of things in the park, haven't we? Now, you have some juice flowers. Yes. And time for your snack too, Samson. Oh, good boy. I hope Dr. Juno's getting a snack as well. Oh, hello, Samson. Playing hide and seek again, are we? Come in. Only me. Just thought I'd pop in on my way back to the market, see if you like some apples. I thought the fruit basket was for your friend. It was, but she only wanted the grapes. How about a banana? Pack full of energy of bananas, perfect for folk on the go like you. So long as you don't slip on the banana skin. Thanks, but I'm not going to have any time to eat anything just yet. I'll leave you one just in case you change your mind. I've got to go, OK? Don't work too hard. I'll try not to. Bye-bye. See ya. Talking about work, i better get back to it. It's so exciting in the hospital It's where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there
that work has given me such an appetite. Three o'clock, snack time. Where's that banana? Oh, I think I better deal with this lot before I eat. Oh, hi, Dr. Juno. Could we have a quick word? Of course, it's lovely to see you. It's just that, well, we're looking for one of the examination rooms, but there's so many, and they all look alike to us. Oh, there's nothing wrong with either of you, is there? Oh, no. It's just that we brought a friend of Kai's in, a young boy called Peter. Uh, we left him with Nurse Henry while we went off to get him a juice and... Peter Howard? Yes. Do you know him? I've just finished examining him. He looks much better now. Oh, good. He had a bit of a funny turn, didn't he, Kai? Come through. Hi, Peter. Bobby got lost. Oh, here's your juice, Peter. Now, as you know, Peter has an illness called diabetes. It affects the sugar level in his blood. It's really important that children like Peter keep a close eye on what and when they eat. If he skips a meal and takes his medicine, which I suspect happened today, then he'll be ill. Dizzy? Exactly. As long as Peter takes care and eats regularly, he'll be just fine, just like you and I. I'm waiting on the blood test. If everything goes well, then you can take him home. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, Dr Juno. See you later, Peter. <laughs> Bye, Kai. Squash banana! Ugh. I hope you found time to eat something today, Samson. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, well done, my darlings. I do like to see people enjoying their food. <laughs> oh. Oh, and you too, Samson. Well done. You've got a healthy appetite. Dr Juno will be pleased. <laughs> oh, I know, Samson. I miss you too. But it's still only four o'clock and I've still got loads to do before we can go home. Oh, there's an email. This should be the test results that Peter's been waiting for. Sounds like someone's having fun. <laughs> well, you've got to help the time pass somehow, haven't you, Kai? <laughs> well, there's no need. The test results are back and they're fine. Oh, you can take Peter home. Excellent. Well, that calls for a celebration. Oh, Come here. Oh, 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 I feel quite dizzy. Gosh, are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Um, don't worry, just a spot of tiredness, that's all. Okay, Ooh. well, if you're sure. Yeah, I'm certain. <laughs> Take Peter home. I'll get back to my office. Honestly, I'll be fine. All right, well, bye. Bye-bye. Take care. <sighs> what on earth's wrong with me? What have I done today to make me so tired? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. The children had just finished breakfast and Granny Murray made me a slice of toast when she found out I'd had no breakfast. But I'd had no time to eat anything as I had to get to work. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the hospital to find masses of paperwork waiting for me. Then Rudy appeared with a huge basket of fruit for a friend of his who was staying in the hospital. She didn't much care for apples and bananas, so Rudy kindly left one for me to eat. At 3 o'clock, I was about to eat my banana when Bobby and Kai arrived. They had brought a boy called Peter into the hospital. Peter had had a funny turn. I explained that Peter was diabetic and he badly needed some food. At 4 o'clock, Peter's test results came back. He was fine and Bobby danced me around. That was when I had a funny turn. Gosh, that's what's wrong with me. I'm hungry. I haven't had anything to eat all day. Now remember. You should take your own advice. I must have something to eat straight away. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I.
so much better already. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Juno. Hello, <laughs> Tina. What are you doing here at the hospital? Oh, I've just dropped a patient off in a taxi. <laughs> Ooh. What's that you're eating there? Nice, is it? Just what the doctor ordered. It's the first chance I've had to eat anything all day. Now, you know it never pays to skip a meal. Very sensible advice, Tina. I'll try and follow it from now on. Great. <laughs> oh, I bet Samson never misses a meal. Samson? <laughs> Bye. Thank you for helping to tidy up Giddles. Well done. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to you too, Samson. By the time we've got all this cleared up, it'll be time for you to go home. Good boy. Doctor Juno, come our way through and you come. Come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Oh, good boy. Look at that wagging tail. Oh, he was fabulous. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. You should take your own advice. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be all. Come on, boy. Come on. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sneaking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, Talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, feeling, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, making, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, fighting, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a very smart breakfast waiter today, though he didn't do much serving. The children helped me clear up the breakfast table. Then we had such fun at the park, playing chase with Samson and his frisbee before settling down for a lovely picnic snack. Samson worked up a healthy appetite by the time we'd got back home, so there was no leftovers on his plate after lunch. Everyone helped tidy up the lunch things, even Samson got in on the act. And as for Dr Juno, she had her breakfast, lunch and dinner all together. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Rachel and Gary. But that's you finished your lunch, so come on, cherubs. We've got work to do. <laughs> you go in there. There we are. Now. Oh, that's me. That head. Pick one of those. Tiniest drop. Let's get washing, you two. That's right, you give that a good scrub. Make sure it's clean. Well done. Now, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Samson with Dr Juno. Hello there. Dr Juno. Hello and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentle now. Look, he's enjoying that. <laughs> oh, here, I think that's enough pattern, isn't it? Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, he'll get a good view for me dress clawed up as the ferry boat band. <laughs> hey, are you ready for my concert? Oh, I'm ready. Come on, let's rock up to our cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I can't wait to see you perform in the Castle concert. Oh, I'm so excited. Chuck's friend Lenny the cameraman is going to film the concert and everyone in the hospital is going to get to see it on their TVs. <laughs> We'll maybe bump into Lenny when I take Samson up to the castle to see the concert preparations later. Are you going to get enough time to take him for a run around? Oh yes, we'll take Samson for a big walk in the park before we go to the castle. Long enough to tie him out? Well, why do we need to tie him out? Well, just so he can have a snooze during the concert. Last time he joined in and no one could hear the music. Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> well, we'll turn things upside down and back to front. First, We'll pop up to the castle and then we'll take Samson for a romp in the park to tide him out. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Hey, look at Claude! Oh, <laughs> oh look at Claude. He looks marvellous. All set for the concert tonight. Oh, here, I've got a good luck card for you from Samson. Oh, thank you, Samson. <coughs> bye bye. Try and tie yourself out. <laughs> Now remember, sometimes it helps to turn things upside down and back to front. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, Dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine So enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Ah! Mickey oh. John! You frightened the life out of me, Dr. Juno. I'm sorry. Yeah. I brought you a good luck card for the concert tonight. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. Everyone from the school's coming to the concert. Oh, brilliant! Hmm. It's a shame the patients can't get to see the concert, too. Oh, they can. Chuck's friend Lenny the cameraman has organised a special link-up so that the concert can be shown on all the TVs right here in the hospital. Terrific. Well, i better get back to school. Rock it to them. Bye, Mickey John. Hmm. Oh, Samson. I wonder what you're up to right now. I love to skip in River City. Oh, it's so exciting, Samson. <laughs> there's the ferry boat van setting up. <laughs> and there's a man fixing that light, do you see? Well, you look at all the seats. <laughs> oh, that must be Lenny, the cameraman. Hello there. Oh, Samson, you're going to be on the telly. Oh, fix your hair. <laughs> oh, I wish Dr. Juno could see you, Samson. <laughs> My waggy dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Only me, Dr. Junois. Raymond, what are you doing here? Is everyone OK? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I just popped in to bring you this. Good luck card. Lisa made it. Oh, it's fantastic. Thank you, Raymond. I need all the good luck I can get. I'm a bit nervous about singing at the concert. Oh, we all get the shakes before our big performance, but listen to Uncle Raymond. Before you go on stage, take ten big breaths. It'll calm the jitters, like this. Oh, in. In. And out. Out. I see. Thanks, Raymond. That'll come in handy when I'm on the telly. On the telly? Tell me more. Well, uh, Chuck's friend, Lenny the cameraman, has arranged to film the concert. I'm going to be a film star. Well, love the camera. Love the camera. <laughs> You're wanted, Dr. Gino. Oh, right. Um, thanks, Nurse Henry. I'll see you at the concert, Raymond. Good luck. Well, back to work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights run up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there Dr. Juno. Uh, good luck with the concert, Dr. Juno. We'll all be watching on the telly. Thank you, Nurse Hendry. <laughs> Just checking out the cobwebs. You have a patient in the examination room. Thanks, Nurse Hendry. Oh, Mickey John. Not another good luck card. Uh, no, it's uh, Benedict. He's hurt his foot during football practice. Oh, dear. Let's have a look. We're in a hurry, actually, Dr. Juno. I don't want to be late for the castle concert. These things can't be rushed, Mickey John. I don't want to be late for the concert either. I am meant to be singing in it. Oh, of course. Sorry, Dr. Juno. It's just uh, time's getting on, you know. Well, I think we'll wheel you off to X-ray. I don't think it's serious, and it'll be fun. Uh, will the X-ray take long, Dr. Juno? Not long, Mickey John. I'm sure we'll both make it to the castle concert on time. See you later. I do hope you're having a good run around to tie yourself out, Samson. I love to skip in River Sea Pinkle, River Sea Pinkle, that's for me. Hey, you threw it. Woohoo! Good boy! Come on! Oh, Samson, you are puffed out. <laughs> Dr. Juno will be pleased with me, won't you? <laughs> Woohoo! Already. I'm going to be late for the concert. Benedict hasn't come back from his x-ray. And Dr Craig isn't here yet to take over. And I am due at the concert. Here's Benedict's x-ray. Oh. Uh, thanks, Nurse Hendry. Ah, good. Benedict's bones are just as they should be. Oh, great, I'll tell Mickey, John. Oh, tell him to get along to the concert as well. Yes. Shouldn't you be getting ready by now? Oh, I will. Just as soon as Dr. Craig takes over my shift. When does Dr. Craig take over my shift? 
Can I take a look at the diary, please? Thank you. Oh, no! Dr. Craig's mixed up the dates. He's going to the concert, and I'm working here. It's all muddled up. Where did the time go? At one o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. The children dressed up Claude like Chuck from the ferry boat van. At two o'clock, I arrived at the hospital and started work. Then Mickey John arrived with the good luck card. At four o'clock, Raymond popped in with another good luck card and he showed me how to stop being nervous before the concert. At five o'clock, Nurse Hendry told me I had a patient. Mickey John had brought in Benedict who had hurt his foot during football practice. Mickey John was in a huge rush to get to the concert, but I sent them off to X-ray. At six o'clock, Benedict's results came back from X-ray. He was fine and Mickey John could go to the concert, but I can't leave the hospital. Now remember, sometimes it helps to turn things upside down and back to front. That's it. I'll turn things upside down and back to front. If I can't do my concert at the castle, then I'll do it right here at the hospital. I just need to ask Lenny the cameraman to organise a few things. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Okay, I'm Q Dr. Juno. The ferry boat band, they play the ferry boat sails away Floating down the river to the ocean waves The captain steers his way as engines pound away Churning down the river to the rhythm of the band The radar swings, the ferry band sings The captain taps his satellite map Sailing out to sea on the noontime Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet <laughs> Thank you! I hope you enjoyed that, Samson. <laughs> Samson! I'm glad he did quite well, Dr. Juno was singing it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Dr. Juno would be so proud. <laughs> Dr. Juno, come away in. Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it helps to turn things upside down and back to front. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the ferry boat band because there was a concert on at the castle today. We took Samson along to watch everyone get ready for the concert. It was very exciting. 
Then we took Samson for a long walk so that he'd be tired out and wouldn't bark during the concert. Dr Juno was meant to be singing at the concert but she was stuck at the hospital so she turned everything upside down and back to front. Lenny the cameraman went to the hospital to film her singing there. Then we all watched her on the big screen. She was fantastic. Would you like to sing in a concert? <sighs> Me too. <laughs> I think I better practice a bit more first though. <laughs> bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's get moving. What's in Granny Murray's shelves? Oh, I'll draw stars. Stars are really tricky. Nice big star for you, Gary. That's you, my darling. Turn on that star. And we'll... oh, Here we are. Ta da! <laughs> star! Beautiful! Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Not anymore! Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson. Come on then. Oh, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. Oh, we don't want to get him over excited, do we? No, or pat him into the ground. <laughs> he loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. Oh, I think that's enough patting. Cue basket, Samson. Good boy. So, he'll get a good view while you dress clutter up as an astronaut up in the stars. <laughs> and we can have a space walk over to our seats. Oh, yeah. I've brought Samson's new food bowl with me. It's rather special. Oh, special. We're taking Samson for a special walk. Oh, <laughs> Samson loves walking. It's a nighttime walk. Well, let me show you this bowl then. Mickey John's coming round later on and he's bringing his telescope and we're going outside to look at the stars. Oh, I've got a star system at the hospital. It really helps the patients to relax. Oh, what's that? It's a star system projector. It shines the stars and planets on the walls and ceilings. Oh, that's grand. It is. Anyway, this is Samson's special ball, the one I was telling you about. Oh, it looks a bit complicated. Oh, it's quite easy. You just turn the dial to set it. Like this? Yes. Oh, help. Oh, dear. I don't think we got that quite right. No, I think it's maybe too complicated. Sometimes it's best just to keep things simple. <laughs> maybe you're right, Granny Murray. I'll give Samson his tea in the usual way. <laughs> oh, Claude, you look out of sight. Out of space, even. <laughs> well done, guys. Oh, what a lovely glittery star. Thank you, Starshine. Bye, Samson. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Come on. Just remember, sometimes it's best to keep things simple. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, 
postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Ooh, I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. All scrubbed and ready to go. There you go, Dr. J. Oh, thank you, Nurse Henry. <laughs> Heavy. Oh, sounds really busy here today. You've got a full list. Certainly looks like it. There are so many patients. Some of them will be waiting quite a long time. Well, I don't want them to get bored or anxious. See you later then. Wait a minute, Nurse Hendry. We can entertain all these patients whilst they're waiting with the Night of the Stars. Great. I'll fetch my guitar. Well, you won't need that. Won't I? We can use this. Ah, oh, the star projector. We can plug it in and switch it on in the waiting area. The patients can look at the stars. It'd be really relaxing for them. <gasps> Hello, everyone. I'm sorry, some of you are going to have to wait a little while to be seen. But not to worry. Here's something to make the wait a bit more fun. Let me present a night of the stars. Oh, must get on. Oh, look. I wonder what's happening to my little star, Samson. I love to skip in river, see, bingle, river, see, bingle, by the sea. I love to skip in river, see, bingle, river, see, bingle, that's for me. Hey, do you know what this is? Called a telescope, and we use this to look at things that are really far away. Go on, have a look through and see if you can see anything. Can you see the clouds? Would you like to have a look through? Well done, Gary. Was that good, darling? You know, at night time we can see all sorts of things we can't see during the day. Like, uh, what can you see? What can you see? Oh, Some yes, you can see the stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will you look at poor old Samson? Doctor Juno wouldn't let you cooped up in here all day. Oh, oh Doctor J. Yes, what's the matter? It's the star projector. It's great, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. I bet you're feeling really relaxed. Well, I was, but... But what? Well, everything was looking lovely and then it sort of went fit fit. Fit fit? And ting. Ting? I think maybe the bulb's gone. Oh, what a shame. No more Night of the Stars. Everyone was really enjoying it. Well, I better get moving and see all those patients. Down to work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there
rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'd better put this away. Oh, Dr. Juno. Hello, Tina. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. I've just finished work. <laughs> I wanted to ask your advice. Of course. Well, it's about my neighbour's little boy. Jamie? Mm. He's had a tummy ache for a few days now. Well, if he's had it for a few days, you should get it checked out. It might be something serious. Mm. But I wondered if you could help. Well, I'm sure I can. It's quite quiet in casualty, so why don't you bring him in? OK, thanks, Dr J. Goodness, it's getting late mm. and it must be getting dark. Oh, it is, but it's a very clear night. You can see all the stars. I love the stars. Mm, me too. <laughs> see you later. See you. I wonder if Samson can see the stars now. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, it's a grand night. We need to find a spot far enough from the city so that we can see the stars clearly in the sky. <laughs> Dr. Juno would love it out here. Samson, I hope you're not howling at the moon. Come in. <laughs> oh, hello, Tina. Hey. How's Jamie's tummy ache? Well, it's still sore. Jamie's actually here in the waiting area, Dr. Juno, but, you know, he's a wee bit nervous about coming into hospital. Oh, well, that's understandable. Mm. Oh, I know. Tell him to wait. I'm going to make it great fun. OK, Dr. J. Back in a minute. <laughs> Time for another night of the stars. Why isn't this thing working? Oh, poor Jamie. I wanted to make his visit to the hospital relaxing and fun, but this projector's not working. What's gone wrong? Where did the time go? At four o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop Samson off. The children were making glittery stars and moons. So they dressed Claude as an astronaut walking in space. I took a new food bowl for Samson to get his food on time, but it was a bit complicated. At five o'clock, I arrived at the hospital. There were lots of patients in the waiting room, so I helped to make the patients feel relaxed and happy by setting up the planetarium projector to make a fun night of the stars. It looked lovely. At six o'clock, Nurse Hendry arrived to tell me the planetarium projector bulb had gone foot foot ting. At eight o'clock, Tina asked if she could bring Jamie, her neighbour's child, to see me because he had a tummy ache. Jamie was nervous about coming to the hospital, so I wanted to make it fun for him with the planetarium projector. But it didn't work. Now remember, sometimes it's best to keep things simple. Keep things simple. I know! There's a much simpler way of making a pretty night of the stars. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it She's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna be that wrong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. <gasps> oh, look, Jamie, lovely. <gasps> you just lie back here and look at the stars, and Dr. Juno will look after you. <laughs> Hello, Jamie. Oh, let's get you up here. Oh, there you go. Tina tells me you've got a tummy ache and you've had it for the last few days. Well, I need to find out what the matter is so we can get you all better. I'm going to feel your tummy and tell me if it hurts, all right? Is it sore there? Mm. Oh, dear. What about here? Mm -mm. Oh, it's got no fever, so that's good. Have you been sick at all? Mm -mm. Uh, no, he hasn't been sick. Well, do you know what? I know just the medicine to make you all better. 
I'm going to write you out a prescription. And if you're not better in a couple of days, come back and see me. Is that all right? OK. There you go. Thank you, Dr Juno. You can go home now. Do you want to sit <laughs> up? Well, Jamie's enjoying looking at the stars so much, he doesn't want to go. Well, it's certainly calmed him down. Maybe the stars have calmed Samson down too. What a great place this is. The stars look really clear. Jack, point the telescope up at that bright star right up there. Can you see it? Oh. <laughs> Good boy, Samson. Looking at the stars must have calmed you. You've not held at the moon all night. Dr. Juno would be proud. <laughs> You know, come our way through and you come. Come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Oh, good boy. Look at that wagging tail. Oh. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it's best to keep things simple. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be all. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sneaking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an astronaut going spacewalking amongst the stars. Mickey John brought his telescope round so the children could learn how to use it. We dressed up warm and walked Samson up the hill away from the lights of the city. It was a really clear night. We set up the telescope and all took turns looking at the stars. The stars made us feel very calm. Samson didn't howl once. And while the children were looking at the stars outside, the children in the hospital were stargazing and relaxing too. The night of the stars worked really well. Sometimes it's best to keep things simple. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love you, sister.